All right, for RC control, I am using a 30G uh, transmitter. I got this from Hobby King. It used to be a 2.4 uh, gigahertz transmitter. I had to take this part out and hook up the wiring for my uh, range link uh, long range system for uh, 433 megahertz and stock antenna I have one of those uh, Moxon, Moxon I forgot the name antennas from I'd be crazy but uh, I haven't I used it once but I haven't uh, used it again so maybe when I get my uh, pepper box uh, antenna I would be able to use that for now this works flew four kilometers and rock solid uh, rock solid signal I think the lowest I saw for, on the RSSI uh, signal is uh, maybe 80 I think I can't remember but yeah it's a, it didn't go too low for me to be worried that uh, the system will go on fail safe and uh, the plane will uh, switch to return to home so I find this uh, system very reliable. I've been using this uh, on my Bixlers and now with my uh, Skywalker. So I I would recommend it. You know, it comes with high power, low power. I haven't really even used high power on the, on this system. So maybe you and my video. Uh, system can go further i would be able to use the the high power mode so again 30g 9x from hobby king range link system i think i got this from range video the guy who built this his name is sid he's really awesome very helpful have a few questions on how to wire this up and how to wire the proper DIY antenna for the plane so I'm gonna move back to the plane the antenna was actually before I glued this all together it's running from here to the bottom so if you know there you go, it comes out there so I just built it and run off a coax cable from here to here and then I'm going on to the range link receiver over there so yeah I, uh, that was just all custom built uh, antenna and uh, connectors soldered it in and this is my ground station uh, I'm using a monitor not flying uh, goggles yet so I built this from a case that I got from Canadian Tire and then just customized it I got a screen there, I got a fan there in case it needs hot, and then all the, the buttons. So, this is a uh, ground station, it's being powered by a 45,000 ma nanotech energy, and uh, using a digital video recorder I got from eBay, did all the wiring and all that stuff. Yeah, I find this pretty useful. I just pop this open in the back of my, uh, my car and then turn it on. And I have this is provision for a antenna that I could install. So I could if if I decided to install a video receiver at the back of this uh, plywood here. So this one goes to here which is uh, my 1.3 gigahertz uh, receiver 12 channel came with a, with a transmitter that I got as a combo from uh, FPV model. Now I'm putting my 5.8 in there in case uh, I decide to fly uh, 5.8 on my other planes and there you go that's uh, Blue Beam Ultra combo one is going to the plane one is going here 
So I'll mount it into a tripod, find it really useful with a long video wire. I just put this tripod on top of my SUV and I'll put the tailgate at the back, pop this open and yeah, very fast. I could have this uh, up and set up in you know, less than five minutes. So.